Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the T-Well Retro Rock. This is a very interestingly styled wireless Bluetooth, uh, stereo Bluetooth speaker that sells on Amazon for under 60 bucks. So the price is fair for a mid-size Bluetooth speaker that reminds me of a uh, kind of like an amp that you may have for a guitar or for a larger instrument. Um, otherwise, it does have, again, a very convincing overall aesthetic and it features two 12-watt drivers. It uses Bluetooth version 4. 4.2, so it can wirelessly connect with any smartphone, tablet, or computer up to 33 feet. And you can also use a wire if you want to plug it into an MP3 player to amplify the sound, uh, or even to something like an Amazon Echo if you want to, again, improve the sound quality. So quite a few uses. Now, this is a home Bluetooth speaker, so it's really meant to, you know, be placed in a living room, or maybe if you take it out for a party every once in a while, as opposed to being something really portable. Uh, you know, that has a longest battery life. But again, you are buying it uh, not only for the sound, but again, for part of the design. If you like what you see here, it really is a conversation starter. Before taking a closer look at the design and discussing the sound and performance, other accessories, of course, include the proprietary uh, charging uh, adapter, which again uses this simple L-shaped prong to attach onto the wall. The cable length is decent. I would say it's roughly uh, two feet. So as long as you have kind of an outlet nearby, you'll be fine. Otherwise, there's also a pamphlet that gives you basic instructions for operation. Uh, there's some stickers from the company, and there's also an auxiliary cable for plugging in, again, traditional uh, you know, MP3 player or anything with a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone port. So this is everything that you see in the box. Checking out the design next, again, uh, the size of the unit is, I would say, kind of a mid-size, relatively large Bluetooth speaker. As far as weight is concerned, uh, it's definitely lighter than what it looks uh, compared to other maybe amps, if that gives you kind of the retro look or vibe, but uh, overall it does feel quite solidly constructed. The exterior here is made out of this kind of synthetic uh, leather material, the inside here has features some chrome accents which are made out of metal and then there's some fabric materials as well for the plates so overall construction is good if we take a look at the top the knobs also take on this kind of retro look and that includes the adjustments for the volume that you can manually select and there's also going to be an led light that illuminates uh, when the unit is powered on furthermore if we kind of zoom in there's also a manual switch or a toggle for powering it on and off which uh, feels fairly solid. And there's also a Bluetooth key that I can tap on for a few seconds when it's turned on to start pairing it with a phone or device. Once it's paired, I can also skip tracks from the uh, music playlist if I'm playing through YouTube. I can also play pause the music. There's also the auxiliary input if I don't want to use, again, Bluetooth. Now, it doesn't feature a microphone, though, so you can't actually use this as a speakerphone for answering phone calls. Uh, so that's one utility that you don't get. Uh, it's not going to be a conference speaker. The back here features, you can see kind of where the passive radiator is designed. It should give us a sufficient base. We'll, of course, test it out a bit more in the audio sample next, uh, since this is a lot larger than your portable mini Bluetooth speaker that we more commonly see at this price point. The back here features also the power input, and that's it. So a very simple build. Bottom here has rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or desk. So overall, the aesthetic is pretty clean. It uh, also reminds me maybe of a 40s or 50s era television set, so pretty convincing for this uh, retro look. When plugged into power, you can see that the ring is illuminated. It tells you that there is power flowing through, and then we can either turn the volume all the way down, which goes to silent, 0%, or all the way up. And let's play a audio sample next.
right, so we can pause the music by tapping on the top and you can see it's fairly responsive, not too much delay going on at all. So from that quick audio sample, the takeaway is the sound quality is excellent. For a speaker that's sub $60, I think this is the best sound that I've heard yet in a Bluetooth speaker. That's saying a lot because I've tested hundreds of units over the years. Uh, you can hear that the mids and highs are pretty clean sounding and you know there's no distortion at all, even with the volume turned up. It fills up spaces and uh, living rooms without any problems at all. And the most impressive thing has to be the bass. It's quite powerful and it thumps um, and you can really hear the bass drop in the music in addition of course to natural instruments, drums, and EDM music. So it's quite enjoyable uh, for all genres that you may want to throw at it. It's not maybe hi-fi audio file quality, but for the general consumer, it is excellent. And again, at this price, I think it is uh, a very good value. Uh, now, if you listen really closely and you strain your ears and the music is completely uh, cut off, it's not playing at all, there is a slight uh, amount of kind of static that you can kind of hear if you really lo listen closely. Um, so again, it's not completely hi-fi, but when the sound is playing, the, the audio performance is excellent. Um, it is stereo sound, which means if you link it up to a phone or to a television and you watch a movie or an action film, it really comes alive and uh, again, packs quite a bit of volume and really does amplify the overall volume of the sound beyond what you will traditionally get from a tinny computer speaker or even some other smaller Bluetooth speakers we've seen on the market. Um, so again, sound quality, excellent, perhaps the best that I've tested so far at this relatively low cost price. Of course, there are a few cons. Uh, overall, I would say that, um, again, not having a built-in battery might limit some folks who may want to consider using this outdoors or taking it to the garden, something like that. It has to be plugged into power at all times to operate. And again, there's no built-in mic. But other than that, I love the look and I love, again, the sound quality beyond anything else. Controls, there's not too much latency going on. So as you saw in that demo, pausing the music uh, almost happens instantaneously. So there's no lag between what you're doing in terms of the video and also the sound that's playing from the wireless speaker itself. Uh, auxiliary cable, if you plug it in, does deliver slightly more, uh, you know, nuanced sound. You won't hear any distortion or static. It does improve it ever so slightly. So that is an option if you want to, you know, have even better sound experience, but all in all, pretty similar to what you would expect in the Bluetooth mode. Uh, pairing it is pretty simple when we tried it with both iOS and Android earlier. So pretty good. We can power it off and you can see that the light also turns off completely. So anyways guys, that's been our video first look and a quick review of the T-Well Retro Rock Classic Design Bluetooth speaker. And I think that if you like the look, you also will pretty much like the sound on this unit. Packs much more bass than I was expecting. Um, it does take up a bit more space on a desk than, again, a more portable unit. But again, I think this is a good value at this price. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews.